It's 6.22 p.m., Saturday afternoon, October 9th. Just chilling with Mikey, my Lord, and about to start some prayers. Hasn't been the greatest day so far, but that doesn't mean that's how it's going to end. You know, I leave that up to God and my own personal motivations and mental well-being. But regardless, it's Saturday, October 9th. October 2021, and today is 132 days later. Let's start our show. My name is Joe, and I'm an alcoholic, and I'm an addict, and I'm having like my fifth cup <laughs> of this for the day. It's, it's 3.34 a.m. right now, and it's technically Sunday morning. But you know how I roll. To me, it's Saturday night until you go to sleep. The next day don't start until you wake up in that next day. And it has been a frustrating fucking Saturday today. It's literally not what you expect. If, 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 if Saturday, this Saturday were droids, this wasn't the fucking droids I've been looking for. You know, I'd lightsaber their asses right in half. And... It's this, you know, frustration. You, you're not, little shit, it's one of those things where one little thing tips over like a domino effect and every fucking thing, no matter how tiny it is, you just, you know, you're like Bill Bixby with the eyes turning green and shit starts ripping and you turn into the fucking Hulk to throw a fit. And that's just the human condition. I mean, I, I even said to myself, look, this is, this is life, you know, like that old country song goes, I didn't promise your ass a fucking rose garden, you know, so you deal with it, you move on, and the, and I, but I focus on the things I did get accomplished today, um, I got groceries and saved 20 bucks, I was going to put an order in with Instacart yesterday, and I delayed and decided to wait, and literally after emptying my cart, I checked my email, and they have a promotion, save 20 bucks, Save $10 on your next two orders. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to take that one order that I was about to put in and break that shit up into two. So the nurse has been pulling this crap lately where she used to, her shift used to be on Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., which is perfect. And she don't want to be here that late. So she's pulling this shit where she's coming 7 a.m. and leaving at 5 now, that fucks up my whole weekend because, you know, being able to do shit in the morning, getting that nap in, and then getting up like right before she leaves, that's how I was rolling. That's a beautiful Saturday or Sunday. Now, I literally could wake up, I go to one of my meetings, and then I have to go back and take a nap after just waking up like an hour or two earlier and the max I can have is two hours. So I did that today. First, I put in my Instacart order. And I tell Instacart, come between 5 and 7, because I have to be up by 5. So no problem. You know, I pick the specific time for them to come. I take my nap. I wake up from a fucking dream that was just fucking disturbing I don't want to talk about. People are in the dream. I don't want to. I don't want them in the dream. It's shit I've been dealing with, and it's like, why? Why must I be fucking haunted in my sleep with this shit, right? <laughs> so I'm like, I literally wake up from that, and I'm like, because you don't want to wake up on a bad note. It's like you don't end a song if you're playing live or you're recording a song. You don't. You don't finish on a bad note. You finish on key. So I grab my phone to look. How much more time do I have? Maybe I got another hour I can go back to sleep and, and, and set this shit right because I could, I could already feel the moods off. And it's 4.30. And I got to, and she gets, you know, she's out of here by five. So I'm like, fuck. And then I look at my messages and there's a message from Instacart. Your shopper is on the way. And no. No, I, I chose a specific fucking time. So now I got to jump up, get fucking 
uh, it's just fucking bullshit. And then they, they replaced something I ordered without even contacting me like they usually do. And now when you go to the website, it's like 100% guarantee, satisfactory. 100%. So I send, you know, I said, look, this is bullshit. Oh, well, you could have chose. No, that's what I have fucking chosen. So that was on top of that. That's the next fucking domino. The nurse leaving early is a fucking domino. The fucking bullshit dreams are domino. The one time I had peace is I spent like an hour and a half in prayer. And it was perfect. And then it's like, you know, it's like being inside a sauna and, or a pool and you feel great. But then when you get out of the pool, it's like, ah, oh, fuck, I got to deal with all this shit again. And it's just everything I had planned to do was just sit in the living room tonight, watch my blues DVDs, play my guitar through the katana. The katana hasn't moved. I played a little bit. I got to watch some. I mean, it was good stuff. I What, what did I get to do today? Uh, well, I got my groceries and saved 20. That's what I did. I focused on the things I accomplished. I got my groceries and I saved 20 bucks. I have a Saturday off. I didn't even make anything to eat tonight. I ate snacky shit with uh, like literally just pork rinds with with shit. So I didn't even get to do that. That was another domino of frustration. I had this great. So now I got all this fucking chicken breast defrosted again. Let's take a break and I'll come back and bitch and complain some fucking more. It is stop with the fucking light. It is 2.56 a.m. Sunday, October 10th, and I'm about to record 102 days late, 132 days later, even though now it's 133 days later, but I've been chilling, casting some blues stuff to the Roku, because when I just watch YouTube on the Roku, commercials will air during a song, which is the most fucking stupid thing in the world. When you're watching a song or a concert video, And in the middle of a song, it goes to an ad and then tells you could skip the ad in three seconds. No, fuck you. Fuck you straight to hell. Other than that, chilling chilling with my baby in the living room with a new set of strings. Bought this cool Music Nomad mat with this sweet ass thing here. You put the guitar neck on. And I have it on like a coffee table, but the good thing is I can hulk this shit. So I put the string through, just slide it, wind it, hulk it back to me again. And just slide this shit right back to me. Put another string through and get that going. But hey, let me record 132 days later right now. And we're back. So let's go back to, I focus on what did I accomplish? Because when you're frustrated, you have to focus on something good. Because the frustration is going to come. The anger is going to come. The bad moods are going to come. You're going to have that physical inside of you. The chemicals will be off. I don't, you know, it's just a natural fucking thing. And I, I must have, if I had a dollar for every time I said today to, to God, you know, I'm not a big fan of this being human bullshit. Never have been, never will be. But, um, uh, I got to, I changed the strings on my guitar. And you'll, I'm sure you've seen a video of that or two, or you, you will be. But even that was frustrating at one fucking point. Because the, and it's perfect now. Oh, it's all polished up. It feels, not, and now it feels, it was, it was feeling wrong. But now it feels right. Now she feels like she's my baby. And I don't know what gauge string they had on here. But when I would do a bend, I was like, it was like, where the fuck did it go? I bend up like five fucking notes, five pitches. So I put 11s on here and it literally feels like, you know, high tension cables, which is perfect. It literally can only bend exactly where I want it to bend. And it's just painful enough for my little, my big fucking Hulk. Look at my hand on this fucking thing. You know, I mean, look at look. This is a normal. This looks like a normal size mug in my hand. It's a thirty ounce mug. Polished it up. I but taking the strings off, I lost my fucking mind because the tremolo block, the high, the three, the the E, B, and the G strings wouldn't come out. They were jammed in there, so I had to stick something in to get the fucking balls out. To yeah, get my fucking balls out. 
to get them out. But finally got it all set up, and it's just beautiful. So tomorrow's going to be my day. Tomorrow will be my fucking day. I'll make it my fucking day. So, but listen, at one point, and, and anyone who, who's working sobriety, and don't think it's like a job that you work and you finish. You're in the job for the rest of your fucking life. You don't retire from this. If you, re- if you retire when you're dead. But if you retire sooner, that means you're fucked up. And you'll be, hopefully you'll be looking for the job again. Or you'll be dead. At one point, I'm thinking how fucking frustrated and shit I am. And I've literally got two, three different thoughts in my head. And I'm like, a fucking knife? A stray thought comes out of nowhere like it's placed there. That says, you'd be happy right now, though, if you were drunk, wouldn't you? If you were drinking, you'd be in a good mood. And I literally had to go, whoa, whoa, hold the fucking phone. And stop and turn to address this thought that I don't want to say I didn't know where it came from. I know where the fuck it came from. I know who put it there. Like like St. Michael says in that prayer, may God rebuke you. You know, I'll tell you the story one day about in the Bible. St. Michael, when he had to bury the body of Moses, Lucifer was there the whole time being a pain in the ass. You know, St. Michael said to him, may the Lord rebuke you. He didn't say go fuck yourself. See, that's the thing. We get angry. Why don't you go fuck yourself? You know what, you piece of shit? Now you see why you got thrown out. None of that. None of that. No bad name calling or nothing. He just said, may the Lord rebuke you. Boom. Get gone. God, they let God take care of your ass. That's there's your MYT Hoover. May the Lord rebuke you. Let let God take care of your ass. That's what I'm going to do with you. I'm doing that with a lot of people, letting God take care of their ass, and I'm praying for their asses at the same time because I don't want God to take care of no one's ass in a bad way, in a good way. Sometimes the good way gets them the best way, right? Yeah, you 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 know what I'm talking about. So I have to stop and address this thought. And I'm like, no, how the fuck does that solve anything? What? Some phony temporary fucking oomph of happiness? And what? The depression that comes tomorrow? The, 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 fucking, the, the fucking wreckage of falling off the wagon? And you know why? That's why they call it falling off. You fall off the wagon. The wagon's moving like 100 miles an hour. And your ass is fucking rolling in the dirt, rolling over rocks, getting fucking fire ants up the cracky ass, biting. No. So literally, fuck you to that thought. So I'll deal with the frustration. And that's when I want to focus on the positive. Focus on the positive. I still have Sunday. I, I still have like an hour or two. I probably won't go to bed till 6 a.m. After all the coffee I drank, it's fucking rocket fuel. So I'm going to sit out there I'll watch at least one concert DVD and I'm going to enjoy myself. But if anyone here who's watching, first of all, I love you. God bless you. Be aware. Not every day is butterfly and fucking rainbows. That's why I always say that prayer. You know, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Come, and I add, come what may, it's a beautiful day. Lord, may what come today be butterflies, rainbows, and love. But if it's hornets, hail, and heartbreak, give us the grace to deal with the hornets, the hail, and the heartbreak, right? God will give you the grace to deal with the bullshit. You're going to give yourself, what are you going to give yourself to deal with it? Tequila? Vodka? Am I going to eat just, what am I going to go order like five fucking bags of chips and, and the big fucking tubs of spinach artichoke dip like I would do? Or what would you do? Were you going to take your meth again? Whatever you were using, crack, coke? No, let God give you the grace to deal with the bullshit. Accept the grace. He wants to give it to you. Don't try to replace God's grace with all that other fucking... Don't replace grace with disgrace. That's how about that one. So, you know what? I'm just going to wrap it up here. Life happens. Some days you're fucking, you know... You're king of the mountain. And some days you're king of the mountain, but you're on a mountain of shit. But you deal with it. And that's life. God still loves you. 
and you move on and you focus on the good things you accomplished. And you know what? I'm going to focus on this sweet ass guitar that feels beautiful in my fucking hands with its 11 gauge strings that feel like fucking high tension cables. I'm, I'm going to go out there and play some, some nice fucking blues. So until tomorrow, come back for 133 days later, which we're technically in right now. It's 3.48 a.m. I love every single one of you. There's nothing you can do about that. I'm stealing that from you, Dave. And may God bless you. May God hold you in the palm of his hands. May God sustain you, give you the grace you need to get through whatever you're going through. May he care for you and all of your loved ones, even your pets, and that cat, fucking cat, even the cat. So pray, hope. I can do it with both hands. Live long and prosper. Don't worry. Pray, hope, don't worry. And that will make you live long and prosper. And I forgot to say it last night, but... Like my, 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 my little buddy, Tiny Tim, would say, God bless us all, everyone. Good night. See us all tomorrow. Let's have a beautiful Sunday. We'll rejoice in the day of the Lord, day of rest. But I ain't resting on that neck. I'm going to be working on that neck, that guitar. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Strings on a fucking strat shouldn't be this aggravating. I am literally like about to smash this thing. Oh. I've never had this much trouble changing strings in my entire life. God help us all, everyone. Hope everyone else is having a better Saturday night. Kind of pisses me off that I worked all week to get to Saturday night and I'm fucking pissed off. She is a brand new set of strings, polished up, 11 gauge, all lubed up with tune it which is like nut sauce. Got it on the saddles. Got it on the nut. Got it on the string. And there's Brother Hubs. Brother Hubs! Shout out to Brother Hubs! Hope everyone's having a good Saturday night. I've been screaming, almost fainted, and I finally got this fucker strong. Thank you. God bless us all, everyone.